What does it mean when someone says that air is attached to a wheel? It's a common thing we hear, but without a visual example, it's really hard to understand. We need a cycling wheel to help with the description. So, first thing we'll talk about is a yaw angle. So, if you think about a wheel on a bicycle and the wind is coming directly at you, that means that you're experiencing zero degrees of yaw. In that case, people say that the air is attached to the wheel. They do say that, however, if you increase that yaw angle, so you turn it, the wind is still coming directly into the screen in your example, but the wheel is, is on an angle. In that case, they say that the air is detached. So, what does that really mean? With the help of the description, I'm going to use water. And water works because you can actually see what it is. Water and air are both fluids, uh, but you can see water. So, we're going to use this example like the air is coming down because water works with gravity and it's easy to see. So, we're going to consider right now that the wheel is at zero degrees. So, if I drop water on top of this tire, what you're going to see is you're going to see the water run down the tire, across the rim, and right on the carbon fairing. That's considered something that is attached because the water is attached to the surface the entire time. So watch. I drop the water drops on, and you see it run right across the fairing. That's attaching. If I were to increase the yaw angle, and in this case that would mean tipping it forward, and I drop water on the tire, what you're going to see is you're going to see that the air, or the water in this case, falls directly off the tire. It doesn't touch the carbon or the rim at all. Watch. So you can see the water droplets falling directly to the floor. That means that it's detached, so the water is not attached to the surface. Air is no different. If you're at zero degrees and someone says that you have attached air, well that air touches the surface of the wheel the entire time. If the air is detached, as we increase the yaw angle, it stays attached to a certain point and then it becomes detached. When it's detached, it, it comes around the tire and does not stay on the surface, basically comes around. So you have a, basically a hollow or a low pressure side on this side of the wheel. That's a basic description of attachment and detachment. I hope it helps.